It's a tin man here. It's Ian being very serious to the Fraser River board, you know, regional board of directors, whatever you guys are called, the guys who watch over the primary guys, the big engineers, and so on. Get a hold of me. Study this channel. As stupid as it sounds to you, you're wrong. But you see that rock right there that's being pushed towards the depths of the water? It, there's nothing natural going on here, guys, or unnatural that is taking away your dike like this. But I've been telling for months someone unnatural in his instincts naturally mess around with rock. And now my story has become huge, huge story. It's not talking about one or two little episodes anymore. It's a huge story. It goes up into the mountains. It comes down to the rivers. It's time for you guys to start using your mind and realize that the guys that help retain this dike didn't do this shitty of a job. This is something creating this. There's Mission City. And I know there's a number of places along here where you guys have been doing some repairs and you haven't even started thinking about all the other ones that need doing. Don't fake us. It's overboard, overkill. Road maintenance is overkill. Everything is overboard. Eventually the farmers are going to start coming in heavily, heavily somehow with their complaining of it. But right now they're probably seeing some kind of a mass growth. And probably not realizing that the quality of their stuff is going to come down or whatever. See that tree? Last year it was looking like it was going to all die. They went through it, they got rid of a whole bunch of the shit. You see, there's not very much small stuff on there. And it still did a whack of leaves. But you watch, if they keep that one going through this uh, year and it gets to come around again next year, it will be, un you won't be able to see through it very well. Let's put it that way. we are just, uh, I'll go on and go on so I'm not going on. Peace out. Oh, look at those ones that are leaved all the way down to the very bottom there. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, guys. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about, man. I've been living in this valley forever. I've been walking these roads and climbing these trees and looking for snakes and whatever different kinds of things. That's what I've always done. Just been out in the bush. And, uh, yeah. It's not my fault you guys are missing out because there's too many city lurkers or something. I'm not too sure what it would be. My dad's not even getting it. Well, he would if he came and stood beside me. That's the sad thing about it is I know a lot of people, if they just came and walked beside me, they'd end up knowing the same story. They can get rid of thinking that there's an issue with me and then just go on with their thoughts at that point. You know? But no, they got to be the stupid ones, so whatever you want to call them. Peace out.